Hi everybody and welcome to the 8th video of this series where we make an 8 ball pool game while using only JavaScript and HTML5. In the last video we wrote the collide with method inside the ball class. There we detected and handled ball to ball collisions. So now in the browser, if I'll shoot the white ball towards the other balls, you'll see some collisions going on and that all the balls are going where they should. Okay, so even though the physics that we implemented in this game are 100% correct, we still got an issue here. Let me demonstrate and let's see if you can spot it. Okay, did you get it? Let's watch that again in slow motion. Here you'll see that at the time of the collision, some of the balls overlap each other. And that happens because it detects the collision too late, when the balls are already on the same area. Back in our code, in order to minimize that unwanted effect, I will try to tune some of the constants. So let me start with the delta and let's set it to be 1 divided by 177 and that's just the number that I came up with. And let me just remind you that the delta defines how much of the ball's velocities we will add to the ball's positions on each iteration of the main loop. Now in the ball's update method, we will multiply the velocity by 0 0.984 in the part of the code where we apply friction. And let me just write it in a, in a comment. So here we apply friction and again you can choose any number that suits your needs. Back in our browser, now it looks much better. But since we decreased the value of delta, it seems like the stick doesn't hit the white ball with enough power. So back in our code inside the increase power method of the stick class, we will increase every time by 120 and let's set a max power, maximum power. So if this dot power is greater than max power, um, I want to return from this function And let me just set const max power to be for now 8000. Now let's check the result and mm, I don't know, maybe we'll change it to 7500. Okay, so I think that's better. Please take your time and tune those numbers until you will get a result that will satisfy you. Of course, that's not a perfect solution to the problem, but that will do for now. If you want, you can read more about something called quad trees and how to use it for collision detection, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Inside the game world, I'm going to create a new member that I will call table. And this dot table will be a new object literal that will contain the X and Y values of the borders of the table. So top Y is 57 and the right X value, the right borders X value is 1443 and the bottom Y value is 768. And the left borders x value is 57. Now inside the handle collisions method inside the first loop, I want to write something like this dot balls at i dot collide with. And in, instead of sending a ball, I want to send a table, the table that we created. So in order for that to work, I will create two more methods inside the ball class. And the first one I will call ball.prototype.collide with ball. And that will be equal a function that will get a ball as an argument. And the second one will be ball.prototype.collide with table and that will be equal a function that will get a table 
as an argument. So now let me just copy all the content of the collide with method that we wrote for ball to ball collision and let me paste that inside the collide with ball uh, method that we just wrote. And here I'm going to change uh, the argument to be uh, called object instead of ball inside the collide with method. And I'm going to check if object is instance of ball. And if it is, I'm going to call the collide with ball method and I'm going to send this object. And else, I want to call this dot collide with table and to send the object. Okay, so back in the browser, we see that table is not defined. So uh, let's go back to the game world. And instead of sending table, we need to send this dot table. And let's uh, check again. So again, table is not defined. And this time it's on the collide with method. So here I sent um, accidentally table instead of object. So let's go back to the browser and let's refresh and see that everything still works. Yeah, it does. So back in our code, in the collide with table method, the first thing I want to do is to check if the ball is moving. And if it's not, I want to return from this function. Next, I will set a new variable that I will call collided to be false. And before I move on, I need to um, create a new constant that I will call the ball radius, and it will be half of the ball's diameter. Now I want to check if this dot position dot y is less or equal to the table dot top y plus the ball radius. And if that happens, I want to set the velocity to be a new velocity that its x value will be the same x value of the previous velocity and its y value will be minus this dot velocity dot y. And I want to set collided to be true. Now let's test the results on the browser and that looks like it's working. So now let's do the same thing for the right border. So uh, this should be x instead of y and this should be right x instead of top y and this should be um, greater or equal and this should be minus. I hope you guys are following and here instead of um, minus this dot velocity dot y I need to uh, make the x value to be minus the x value of the previous velocity. So now let's refresh the browser and test the right border. And that seems like it works. So back in our code, we need to do the same for the bottom one and the left one. So uh, let's start with the bottom. And um, that should be greater or equal. And uh, this should be bottom y. And that should be minus the ball radius and the code inside should stay the same. So let's refresh and let's test. And that looks fine. So now the last border, let me copy that and paste that here. And instead of um, greater, it should be less than or equal to left x plus ball radius and same here we don't need to change the code inside the if statement let me just refresh the browser and let's see and yeah 
all the borders collisions are working. So one final thing that I want to do inside this method is to decrease the velocity in case of collision. So if collided, uh, so this dot velocity will be this dot velocity multiplied by 0 0.98 to simulate energy loss. Okay, so let's test the results. Let me refresh and let's shoot the white ball towards the other balls and hooray! So you can see that we pretty much finished implementing the physics for this game. I'm sure there are still some bugs here and there, uh, but we'll find them on the go and we'll fix them all. And um, this was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.